Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Anita by Design. I'm Anita, and today is part two of a mini series for the Vibrant Serger by Baby Lock. And I will be sharing with you all of the accessories that come with the machine. If you missed part one, where I gave an overview of the machine and all of its parts, then you can click on the link in the description box below to see that video. Also in that video, I announced that Baby Lock is giving away a Vibrant Serger to one lucky viewer. So go ahead and get a head start by subscribing to my YouTube channel here and my blog, anitabydesign.com. And I will tell you at the end of the series how how you can enter for a chance to win. Without further ado, let's take a look at those accessories. Starting with the two thread converter, this is the piece that you will attach to the upper looper when you're setting up for two thread serging. Next we have stitch finger B and this piece can be used to help whenever you're sewing with lightweight fabric and using three threads and the loops tend to fall off the edge of the fabric. What you will do is replace the stitch finger that is attached to the machine with this one, stitch finger B, and that should help to draw those loops closer to the edge of the fabric. Next we have a package of needles, so when it's time to change out your needles, these are housed on the inside cover of the machine. This is our cleaning brush that can be used to clean the, the lint from the inside. We have a small screwdriver that's used for loosening and tightening the tiny screws on the machine. This is the dust cover that I highly recommend using whenever you're not sewing with your machine to prevent dust and lint from collecting. We also have a large screwdriver. This is the oiler and it is a tube of oil that's used to oil different parts of the machine. Next, we have the moving cutter or the cutting blade. Now, the machine or the owner's manual says that you should not have to change your cutting blade. However, if you find that the blade is becoming dull and you need to change it out, then an extra one is provided for you. There's a mini screwdriver or a mini wrench that can be used to loosen and tighten bolts on the machine. It comes with four thread nets and these are used to help prevent the threads from becoming loose or unwinding too much when you're sewing and that tends to happen with some of the specialty threads so this is a very helpful tool. Next we have a set of tweezers that can be used for all different kinds of things. We get four spool discs and these are used at the bottom of the um, cone threads. You place this onto the metal pin and then place the cone thread on top. We get four spool holders which can be used two different ways. If you're using a small cone of thread then you will place the cone or the spool holder on top of the metal pin with the narrow end up. If you're using a, a large cone of thread, then you will place it onto the pin with the wide end facing up. We get four spool caps, and of course these are used to place on top of the spools of thread. We get an accessory bag to keep all of the accessories. There is a lint tray that is used to collect all of the thread and fabric that's being cut during the serging process. And finally, we get the power cord and um, foot pedal. 
Well, that's it for today. Now you have an overview of the machine. You know which accessories come with the machine. Join me next week where I will be showing you how to thread the machine. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget, and don't forget to subscribe below and go over to my blog, anitabydesign.com and I will share with you how you can enter for a chance to win your very own Vibrant Serger from Baby Lock at the end of the mini series. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.